Some bitches do and some bitches don't. Ride his dick till he butt shit, I know I won't. <laughs> Niggas come too quick for me. A waste of a good dick if you ask me. I like a nigga like to put his back in it. And if it's weed, fuck around and pull a track in it. Ooh. So tell the people where we are. Uh, we are at the Visit to Nail Show. Podcast. Period. And, and your girl Desi again. Yes. Filling in for Petite Nina. Yes. The people love you, so we had to have you back. Yes, we did. Uh, Petite Nina just texted me. She says she will be back next Wednesday. Ooh, yay. So uh, <laughs> this is your last time to make an impression. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How have you been? I've been good. How have you been? I've been really, really... Um, I've been really great. I don't know how I've been, really. What? I mean, considering the state of America right now, I could say I'm doing excellent. I have my mind. I'm sane. A lot of people just lost their fucking mind. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. You would agree? I would agree. So, you're a stay-at-home mom. How do you stay sane? Wow. I mean, off air, you told me you're a fucking wino, so... <laughs> Is that, how you, is that how you keep it up? <laughs> <laughs> no, I sip my wine. We all sip our wine. No, we're drinking wine today. This is <laughs> we Serena. In the drinking wine. Sweet red wine. It's delicious, guys. It it's, is great. It's really I good. did not buy this, so I can't tell y'all where it came from. I actually stole it out of somebody's car. Wow. And they probably won't notice. Maybe they will, but who's going to fight me? <laughs> <Nobody>. <laughs> <laughs> So we talked over the phone a little bit. Um, we have so much to cover tonight. But um, first, I just want to start with, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I know you're not on the phone during production. Honey, nobody knew that. Mind your business. Okay, <laughs> tell Dante we need one hour. It ain't Thank him, you. but okay. <laughs> Who is it? It's the kids, child. You know, they got to Well, tell them we need one hour. <laughs> one hour from mom, You done guys. already stole my City Trends um, telephone prompter. I love this. I am so sorry. It might not go home with you tonight. See, they always love to talk about City Trends being ghetto, <laughs> but then they want to steal all the amenities and devices. I tell you the last no, time I been You're not here. going with my stuff. But I, like I pay this. $7.99 for that. I'm going to go up in there just to look for this. You may I'm see like, Cameron. Tell him I said hello. I got you. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> and pick pockets, pockets for me, too. No. Nah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we have actually been watching things together as we always do. Yeah, it's fun. And we were watching the Tindler, Tindler, Tinder Swindler. Child. What do you think about that? I just want to know, at one point, did they ask themselves, why is a millionaire, a millionaire needing all this money from me? Yes, he could play the, oh, he's in trouble, but you know that man got money. But you know, sometimes people who have money, like they can be in a lawsuit or something, and people will have their bank accounts frozen for whatever reason while they're like in a pending lawsuit. His lie wasn't even good for good enough for me. It I wasn't just want to know how did these women like remember that one woman? She was she was applying for credit cards. Nothing like she got half a million now. She said twenty five thousand. <laughs> like it was going up in increments, then fifty thousand, something like that. Right. And I just want to know like what is her credit looking like? I know because she <laughs> she still act like she in good graces. I mean, I know people on the same street as me act like they cannot get a credit card. Ooh, not even a five hundred dollar limit. I must take a sip. You don't have to take a sip. You mm-hmm. can speak on it, sis. Hey. I mean, you got your Gucci hat on, so you you working with something unless it's actually Poochie. Let me look at it real closely. <laughs> you see? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a G to me. <laughs> unless you bought it out of somebody's trunk. Oh, mind your business. Because <laughs> that goes on, too. I'm over what you. What would Spring Patch be without its boosters? Shout out to, <laughs> let me not say no names. <laughs> but anyway. But it was an interesting Netflix documentary. Yes. Because I think we both fell asleep on The Harder They Fall. <laughs> we did. It started off interesting. It was real cute, but I don't think it was my speed. It wasn't my cup of tea because I didn't go back and rewatch it. Did you? No, I didn't. Yeah. I mean, shout out to Regina King and who else was in it? Uh, all I 
I remember is that boy getting shot, and the family getting shot in the beginning. That was like the first three minutes. Okay, that's it. And that's then you all were I remember. Out for the count. Out for the count. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Could you tell though? You like, yep, she went to bed. I mean, but you usually go back. If it was Euphoria, you would have went back. Oh. If it was Power, you would have went back. Honey, let me tell you. I had to be sat down to even watch that to be caught up. What, Power? Like, yes. Because your man loves it? Yeah. Yeah. He So he put me on. So and, <laughs> you can't watch it without him. Can't watch so it without him. So you haven't seen the new one with Tommy. No. So I'm a couple, we a couple episodes behind. Well, I can't tell you about it, but I will say. Unlike it, you. It is set in Chicago. So Illinois is getting a little bit of shine. Ooh. And we all know how you love Chicago niggas. <laughs> I love mine. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> is he from Chicago? Yes, he is. I didn't even know that. See, I was joking you, around. You see all this s talking you be no, doing. No, I was trying to get you in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be pretty hard. Oh my gosh! I've been pretty. I know faithful. you got him wrapped around your finger, hun. And do. <laughs> oh, this is Io text me right now. I can't make this up. Child, talking about. He told Terrell to bring us the the new headphones. No. Say something, Zach. No. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what should I tell him? I don't oh, you 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 tell him. I'm not even gonna answer. We've been in the trenches in this podcast, y'all just don't know. But the sound is so good. I wanna shout out to our sound engineer, which is Zach. Zach. He makes it sound really, really good, even though we don't have headphones. We've been fighting for headphones, fighting for new mics, but you wouldn't know it. Really they do now. Thing. But I want them to put some pressure on Io. Y'all go to his Twitter, his Facebook, tell right. him we demand. <laughs> demand. Okay. But no, 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 no. Going back to our notes. Okay. I saw you post something and I couldn't say nothing because I am in jail. <laughs> but you were talking about how the kids always eat first in your home. No, I shared that post. No, you said it. Let me tell you. You said something. I don't know about y'all households, but mine no, no, will no, always no. come first. No, no, no. It was that's some not ghetto what... Pope Street ass that shit. That wasn't me. You got me mixed up. I never. I shared a post. What are your views on it? Let's clear it up for I the people. I shared a post. The people want to know. We eat together. Uh, what is that? No, we uh, eat together. That's a neutral answer. Let me just let Does me. Does the man eat first, or do the children eat first? In my home, In the children home. are eating first. Why? Why? Because that's just what we do. We want to get the kids out the way. We get them their plates first, and we get our plates to sit down. Of course, we got to make their plates, but we just eat together. It's not a, oh, I pay all the bills. I'm the man of the house. I demand my plate. We I'm just a big, happy family. And we just, that's what we do. Because I don't want to go to work, so I don't want to hear nobody mouth. <laughs> and I'm not trying to fuck well, up a check. he ain't cranky like you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> because the theory is the man... Traditionally, we know so much has changed. Yeah. You know, we're not in our grandpa name and grandma name. Yeah. This is not your grandma advice because she needed this advice her damn self. But anyway, who you on the phone with now? Again. Ja, you know I got to take a selfie. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so narcissistic like Kanye. Wow. But anyway, but, you know, back in the day, people said the man went out there and... Worked his ass off all day, so when he came home, you feed him. But then back then, a lot of women didn't work either. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So there was a clear understanding of roles. But you're wanting to move into this space of stay-at-home mom yourself. Yeah. So that's why I asked you that question. So if you became a permanent stay-at-home mother, Mm -hmm. because I think you're still in limbo about it. Yeah. Because he wants you to do it. But you are such a go-getter person. You yeah. like to be out there. I know your personality. Yes. You know? Yes. So <laughs> if you were to become a stay-at-home mother, would your views change on who gets to eat first? No. Oh, you stick to because, it. Because right, I'm sticking to it. Because <laughs> technically I am a stay-at-home mom right now. Yes. All I yes. do right now. Is, yeah. Yes. Because he told me, you know, stay at home and focus on my business. And he helps me with that, too. So he's just supporting me. I don't feel like I have to be 
such a, I'm going to still be a go-getter, but I don't feel like I have to be out in the world right now to go get it. Mm -hmm. I can strategize my business from home okay. and be with my kids. And it's, it's, it's a good feeling being able to know that you can take this time off and actually raise your kids. And I got a newborn, so it's just like I always had to rush back to work after having the kids. So I'm enjoying this. So the other niggas couldn't provide <coughs> consistently? Nope. A drop here and a drop there. Mm, five dollars here, five dollars there. I'm do just that. kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> Sometimes you got a bag, but you have to make it stretch because you didn't know when you want to see it again. I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't say nobody was rich if I was working two jobs oh. anyway. Oh. So. Well, what do you think of 50 50 then? Do you think you would want a 50 50 relationship? Um, I've had that. I feel like it's always. Somebody's always going to end up paying more. There's never 50-50. I mean, ain't nobody coming with their half on the dot all the time in a relationship because I had it before. There's always some type of excuse. Well, I wouldn't call it an excuse. Alternator something, went out. Something, went, <laughs> <laughs> something would always come up. And you, I mean, you're in a relationship, so be okay with whatever y'all got figured out. But right now, it's, it's not that with me. Uh, well, what is it? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> I have a real man. That's oh. it. <laughs> That's it. You better give him the first plate. Stop fucking around. I do make his plate first sometimes, but we all eat. They all touch their plates at the same time. But... After y'all say grace. <laughs> grace. Oh no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, you know, Wendy Williams show is ending this year after 14 yes, years 14 years and sherry shepherd is going to finish her show out for her and then they're going to give sherry shepherd her own show Whew. i don't think sherry shepherd can handle those i think she did shoes. her those I topics were already so we're back after a quick technical glitch mm -hmm. the computer crashed for a little bit but we are back it's cold as fuck in here that's y'all don't know I bet the computer is cold as goddamn so. It's probably <laughs> had to warm itself up. Yeah. Let us reboot. But we were talking about Sherry Shepard. Um, you know she was on The View. Yeah. And so she had help. She had, there's like four or five people on The View. Yes. And of course, yeah, she has been keeping up so far on the Wendy Williams show, they say. I've never actually watched her. I her seen, set on there. Yeah, I've seen her twice. She was, she was good. But did she talk about how she left her kids? Oh. Cause you know, no, no, no. You know the story, don't you? I don't know she her story that her, well. She divorced her husband. Mm -hmm. I think his name is Jeffrey. Um, but they had a surrogate mother, and so the mother had the kids. And while the mother was pregnant, Sherry decided she did not want the kid anymore. So <laughs> what happened with the kids? The kids now are with the ex-husband, and she pays child support to her ex-husband. Wow. And and what is it? Spousal support as well. Yeah. But she's the breadwinner. And she does wow. not take any, like, responsibility. Like, she's not trying to get to know him. No relationship. None what? of that. No that weekend visits. That is crazy. She said she didn't want the kids. Because they knew they were going to divorce about the time the child was going to be here. Yeah. So, I guess she associated the child with her ex like you can just divorce your child too i guess man so i just wanted to know she that she talk that. about that because wendy is uh you know spills her own tea yeah she didn't bring that oh, up she was hush 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 like these bitches here in town okay <laughs> okay <laughs> well you know it's black history month mm -hmm. and what are you doing in your household to ensure that your kids learn about black people and their contributions in america well lately you know I don't even think they're learning it at school. Showing. <laughs> you cannot depend they're on that. They're not learning it at school. So I've been teaching my son a lot about the who invented what. Okay. Um, I will send That's always him, fun. Yeah, like daily I will send him a picture and it'll tell underneath like who this man is and so what he So they know invented. we were more than slaves. Yeah. Okay. Yes, <laughs> yes. And he... I don't know. It was just like one day he found out. He came from school and he told me, you know, a black man invented such and such. And that's what he got. It was like, who invented more? Or, you know, who invented this? Who invented that? Yes. Did we invent more stuff? And he was just so excited. 
So that's when I was like, I'll just do this with him daily. So I'll just Google. I think you save, should continue it, it. Yeah. even beyond February. Yeah. You know? Because they should just know that stuff. Period. <laughs> I was. I have a question for you. You have to tell me if I'm right or wrong. I'm listening. <laughs> just like the question with us about the virginity question. Uh, it's along those here lines. Here we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, okay, let me set it up, though. Mm-hmm. During sex, everybody sort of always have kinks or fetishes mm-hmm. that they wouldn't normally do in real life. You would agree with that? Like, I know men who like to call their women bitches in bed. Oh, And it's, yeah. like, sexy. But if you do it outside of the bedroom, it's, it's dis- different. Yeah, it's disrespectful. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I have, like, this... This fantasy, and I don't even know where it came from. If a, if a black man was fucking me, mm-hmm. <laughs> would it be all right if he said something like, do you like this nigger cock or something like that? <laughs> um, if that's what y'all into. Is it morally... <laughs> See, if it was a white person, we'd be like, oh, no, they shouldn't be doing that. But if it's another black man, like, you want this nigger dick. (laughs) I just... (laughs) I can't get jiggy with it. I can't. I mean, I'm sure you've had your own kinks or names you like to be called. You don't? No. You're lying. Because you're laughing. She's she's cheesing in my face, y'all. I wish y'all could see her. You're making me think of stuff I don't want to think about. You're trying to I'm keep trying your to stay focused. to yourself. That's what it is. You know, just try to stay focused. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but you know, they did say some black people actually had slaves. That's like a hidden piece of history. Yep. A small amount. Let's not get too crazy yet, because people will take what you say and take it out of context then and blow it said, out of proportion. Right. That ain't a even small true. amount of black people actually were free during those times, and some of them have been documented to have servants. So you say whatever. I can do whatever. You can do whatever. Uh, you just. <laughs> <laughs> you can do whatever. You stop that. So what do you think about pegging? Have you ever pegged a guy before? I don't. Can you enlighten me? You are a reformed bull dagger, <laughs> and you don't know what pegging is? Are you kidding me? I want you to enlighten the audience. Dang. Okay. Like if you, oh, they know. My audience is freaky. Child, and, no, they and not. as my friend, Them the church I folks. want you to make sure on my tombstone it says freak nasty ho. Can you do that? Can I put you in charge of that? Yeah. I'm probably going to outlive you anyway, but... Boy! <laughs> Holes always outlive you, Prudes. <laughs> Ain't that right, Zach? <laughs> so what you telling me I should be? No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Just agree with me. Yeah. He said, yeah. <laughs> He's like, mm-hmm. So, um, pegging is... Okay, so pegging is when a woman has, like, a strap on, Mm -hmm. and they're fucking the guy in the ass. Mm -hmm. That's what pegging is. But lesbians do the same thing. Some. But you said you never did that. Child. You wasn't a dildo kind of girl. No, that wasn't me who wasn't. It was my partner who wasn't. Did she ever put it in your ass? No. Just the coochie. She wouldn't do any of that. She wouldn't even then what use were y'all a toy. Doing with the dildo, sucking it. I'm, I'm she wasn't even using a ch- toy. Thoroughly confused right now. Uh, <laughs> so y'all never did that. That's why I left it alone. It wasn't exciting. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't exciting. And I'm very mad at you because last episode, child, we got in her ass, and it was her birthday. And I didn't know that until I looked on Facebook. Ain't nobody asked me no questions. Her friend posted them at what was it? I don't know. You know, you said she'll never go to no other restaurant. Don't do that. It's probably sitting at Sushi Milk oh. And that's nasty. It's salty to me. Itch. I don't like it. She likes salt. Uh, mm. <laughs> Nobody should like salt that much. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. All right. So I sent you some songs. We Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New songs. And I want to kind of go through that list. Because we want to let the people know what's on my playlist. Okay. I don't have a Spotify yet. 
even though we are on Spotify, this podcast is on Spotify. So if you want to listen, uh-huh. but I haven't like used Spotify for music to like curate a playlist and all that. It's just been... I use YouTube. YouTube be giving me right. They be giving me the suggestions I need, all that, which leads me to my first white girl. You loved white girl. I loved it. Sierra yes. Ireland. I uh, love you. It. I felt like. And I was confused at first when the, even the beat dropped, but I just felt like that song took me back. Because you saw her picture. Yeah. <laughs> she reminded me of JoJo. And I had to go read, like... I like white girls girl? who sing R&B but don't try. Like, they're trying too hard. Yeah. It was natural for her. Yes. So, I'm going to give her the stamp of approval. The yeah. song we listened to was All For You. hmm And she has some other ones on YouTube. Check her out. Number two is Sammy. Yeah, like that. Like the song that. is called Like That. It was a real freaky song. We're a long <laughs> way from 12-year-old Sammy. Yeah. Okay? He didn't grow up. He's freaky. Too freaky. No, it's, it's just enough. Just enough. <laughs> I'm like, why did you send me this song? So we but love I that song. I listened to it anyway, yeah. And I gave you number three was Jasmine Sullivan because you was trying to play Jasmine Sullivan out last week. But Talking about where has she been? It didn't even load. I went straight to Mary J. Blige. What you mean? You didn't listen to Jasmine? Oh, I'm gonna have to listen to it after this. Oh, you are. See, even God knew I didn't want to hear are that track. Still I'm trying kidding. to play the kid. No, I like Jasmine for real. I wanted you to hear <laughs> "Best Pussy in the World." That's the name of the song. Is it flowing? Is are you asking? <laughs> Dang, why'd you, need you to jerk get like canceled that? for the shade? <laughs> you do. I told you I like her. I just didn't hear that. You know song. what I love about the song is she's basically like telling you she's not with the guy she's fucking, uh-huh. but he still needs to acknowledge that she has the best pussy in the world. I am a strong <laughs> proponent of tell me my coochie is the best even when it's trash. I need that motivation. Everybody else out here lying about everything anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I would want anybody to lie to like, me. Like, if you fucking me, you need to gas me up because <laughs> you keep coming back for some reason. For some reason. Just... So stop acting like it's not the best pussy in the world because. Or maybe you just something to do. Not something to do. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, I'm speaking in terms of how it was four years ago. I've had Whew. no dick in a very, very long time. So proud of you. But. I can assure you it just wasn't something to do. Because <laughs> ain't nothing free around here. <laughs> you said that with your chest. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Something to do is when it's free. <laughs> Amen? Yeah. Mary J. Blige. I gave you a song called Here With Me uh-huh. featuring Anderson Pack. Anderson Pack is one half of Silk Sonic, if you didn't know that. With um. Bruno Mars. Did you know that? No. Yeah. You need to do your research. Yeah, because I didn't even know who he was until I listened to this song. And he was playing the drums at the Super Bowl this year, too. You know, I... He's he's up there. You know, I was busy. uh, Busy sucking dick. (laughs) Well, hey. (laughs) (laughs) While he was telling you you had the best pussy in the world, huh? Because he knows. He knows. (laughs) You told me you weren't feeling the Mary J. Blige track. Look, it's a good song, but it's not something that I would request to listen to or just pull up on my phone and listen to at home when I'm cleaning or riding to it or nothing like I that. I think her new album is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. I really do. From start to finish, it's one of those albums. And really, all of Mary J. Blige's albums have been that for me. You she, don't have to press forward. You can let it play. Like I said, I let it play. But I wouldn't go back. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to let Not it play. Not immediately. It's on a playlist. We're going to let I it play. I feel like sometimes y'all don't want Mary to be happy. Oh, I love her. She Because be this happy. is one of her upbeat songs, happy songs. Some of y'all do this with her, K. Michelle, and Keisha Cole. Y'all only want them to sing sad songs and be <sighs> cheated on and crying and all of that fuckery. <laughs> yeah. Because, no, 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 no. They make Y'all good, do sad that. albums. Every time they have a happy is. song, it's like, I'm not feeling that. <laughs> I need you to be in pain. Wow. And I think that is something That's internally what they made us used that, to. that y'all project. Then they want to turn around and Stop be happy. Wanting. No, we need something to play when we down. You stay People down. Have a, <laughs> not stay down. People have a range of emotions, and they should be able to. Beyonce talks about everything. 
D- does she not? Mm. But she's the queen, huh? Yeah. I Mary's guess. a queen too. She is. Queen of hip hop and R and B. But moving on. Number five, Money Long. Yes. Loving you ain't easy. I love Money Long. Why are you looking I love like that? It because I, um, when I was listening to it, it's like I was going through the motions. See, with her. you want to go through I something. I was going through the you motions feel with her. Some pain. You want to feel like, it? Hold on, I've been through this before. <laughs> I like this song. But you know, she's the same girl who um, sings hours and hours. Yes, yes. Y'all done played it out. Y'all me, done TikTok it out. Me included. I ain't Y'all gonna done lie. Facebooked it out. I love. <laughs> I love hearing other people sing it. Ooh. I love to hear her sing it. I love to hear the choirs and all the harmony. Every version that's Man. been put out, I love it because I'm a real singer. And we don't get songs like this all the time anymore mm-hmm. because everything has to be so radio pushed. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Yeah. And what I mean by that is, what will the white people like? And the black people like. <laughs> this song just feels like it's for the niggas. You get me? It no feels no good. shade. No shade, Zach. <laughs> you can yeah. enjoy it too. I'm just saying, but I feel like she didn't go in the studio trying to get that sound that'll cross over. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Because she's an excellent songwriter. She writes for Rihanna. Wow. And a whole plethora of people. So she knows how to write those pop hits and whatever people want to hear. Yeah. But for her own project, yes. I want y'all to go out and um, listen to Loving You Ain't Easy. It's a, be- it's a beautiful song and sad at the same time. You can- It has a beautiful melody. Yeah. But it's a sad song. It but is. You- but- You're going to no- go through the motions. <laughs> Number six, Antonio Hall. Because I wanted to make sure we did include the male's like Sammy, I feel like there's not a lot of male R&B singers. Is it just me? Chris no. Brown is not the only person out here that can sing. Man. Where y'all at? Come back. But how did you like the song Closer? It was a nice song, too. I found him on TikTok. Really? Did you know that? You didn't know that? No, it's crazy because yeah, I found, I found a couple people on TikTok. I couldn't tell you who they are right off the back, but... I, I looked him up immediately. TikTok. He's from Texas. And he he does not look how he sounds. He's a gangster. I Not a real what? gangster, but he looks very hood. Wow. You know, Timbo's. He wears the Ethica draws. Dreads. You know? Yeah. yeah. Like almost Jacque. <laughs> but he's not corny like Jacque. So he has dreads? Yeah. Oh. You didn't look at him? No. Um... Oh, iPhone. Well, it, you was, just hit yeah, play. it wasn't yeah, a music play. video either. So, okay. But I've looked at plenty of his stuff. It's kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> you did your homework. I just did the bare thorough metal. research. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, Alicia Keys featuring Khalid. You know, is it Khalid or Khalid? What is it? I say Khalid. Khalid uh, featuring also Lucky Day. Yes. It's called Come For Me. I love it. For me, yes. I love, first of all, I love Alicia Keys. I think a lot of people try to play her. I don't think she's irrelevant. I don't think she's ever not been that girl. I think all of her albums have been good. Even if some people didn't enjoy them, I think all of her albums have been solid albums. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I told you, I wasn't the biggest fan of Khalib. I love him on this song. I love it. That's why I love it because of him. Yeah, and number eight, we have to represent for the LGBT. And this was the song you actually was like, yeah. Big so good, make a bitch relocate. I was like, wow. <laughs> Come through. How'd it go? <laughs> Never thought I could say. Big so good, make a bitch relocate. Some of <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Duran Bernard. Let me tell that. you about Duran Bernard. When I was in California... I went to a open mic night mm-hmm. and Duran Bernard was there. I went there with somebody I had met in California and they knew I sang. Now, you can tell he's a vocal beast. You know, he the the recording doesn't even do his real voice in person justice. He's one of the best singers of our time. I'll give him that. And so he had already sang. And this bitch wanted me to go up there and sing after him. Mm. And I did. <laughs> <laughs> you still had something to show. And, mm. you know, 
I brought the house down. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Got, you know, my, my hand claps. Mm, and I thought funny. he was kind of throwing me shade after that. Because I thought he was so used to being the best singer in the room that he was like, who the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, fast forward to when I got back to town. Mm -hmm. Tashina. We talked about her last episode. Tashina tags me in a Duran Bernard video. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I love Duran Bernard, but I don't think he likes me. Now, mind you, the post has like 600 comments already. And he's responding to maybe one or two people here and there. But I could tell the people he was responding to, he kind of like knew them. Mm -hmm. So he wasn't really responding to just like the common fan. But of course, anytime I say something, (laughs) (laughs) they're going to respond. He's going to be like, I don't have a problem with you, Doc. I was just in my zone that night. We're cool. You have a great voice. You know, like now that a bitch is back in town wow. and I'm not competition. <laughs> I, <laughs> wow. And I'm not trying to start no shit because he wouldn't be on my list if I didn't respect him. True. But I was kind of feeling a little bit of shade that night. Even if he says it wasn't like that. You still feel some type of way. I don't care. You know, I can be shady and catty too. I'm with the shits. But Mm. Duran Bernard, relocate, look that up. He has a great EP out. Um, And you know, us queers have to stick together. Wow. Queers. Queers and (laughs) ex-queers. You're still an ally, right? You, ma'am. You, looking at me. Mm. (laughs) No, just kidding. (laughs) What do you do for the community, ma'am? Zach, do we have, like, sound effects, like hand claps or anything, or we don't have that? I just don't do that. (laughs) (laughs) We're too far in the trenches. But you don't have, like, an on-speed button where you can be like... You have that. Okay, we'll get there. (laughs) You want me to clap for you? That's season five (laughs) antics. We're asking for too much for season one. Okay. (laughs) Gotta get some money flowing in first, huh? You are a fool. No, but how's your mom? She's good. She's good? Yeah. Has she watched the show or listened to yeah, the show? Yeah, she has. What did she you think? Know, she liked it. You already know. Is she ready to show us her wedding pictures yet? Um, <laughs> she did retake them. Did she? Yeah, she did. I didn't know that. Yeah. Don't do that. What? She w- that was her day. I, I I know, but I wanted to I wanted to see the pictures Norma took. I still have not seen those pictures yet. Oh. And you said you were going to send them to me. You know, cuz I got a new phone. It's broken. So it my old phone had broken. I didn't back it up, so I don't have them. All the excuses. I don't have no excuses. But you know what? It's fine. I just want to let y'all out there know, if you're a photographer, stop trying to get greedy and want all of the business and really focus on what you can handle before you want all of the clients but really can't satisfy all the clients. That's all I want to say. Is that professional enough? You take pretty good pictures. I take great pictures. That's why I talk shit and and back it up. Man. I got a big ego, as a Beyonce <laughs> and Kanye would say. Don't you? I've been using your Netflix because I'll be damned if I pay to watch Kanye's new. <laughs> Net- <laughs> I'm kicking everybody off. Cash at me, my twenty dollars or y'all gone. <laughs> I watched the I'm new. I'm signing everybody out. No, no, because I got to see what happens with this documentary. Okay. The new Kanye West documentary. Mm-hmm. It actually, they're breaking it up into like, I've never known Netflix to do this. Like, they're doing like uh, stars and the other su- subscriptions, like this week, like weekly episodes or something. So they didn't have all of it together. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. Why are they doing that? I don't know. Maybe feel, they just want to pro. I feel it. like they're using this to test something out. I feel like Netflix about to switch it up on us. And we about to get really, really mad. And I'm mad as if I'm a paying customer. Man. And I'm still mad. I don't so know I have to wait till like out. March 2nd or something to see the part two of the documentary. Wow. And it's three parts. So we need you to keep playing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? But what do you think about all of this Kanye fiasco? 
A lot of people think Kanye is crazy. I don't think he's crazy. I just feel like he went through it in his marriage, and he just don't want to be counted out. Do you think he should have married a a black woman? Most definitely. (laughs) What would have been the difference? What would have been a difference? He yeah. would actually be with someone who actually loved him. Or maybe just someone who understands him yeah. more. Yes. Do you think Kim Kardashian is the Marilyn Monroe of our time? I mean, looking at all the plastic surgeries and all that, yeah. Uh, uh <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. I, that's the not the stuff. direction I was trying to go in. <laughs> that's what they follow. I mean, she's a sex bomb. She's a sex symbol. Like, do you think in 100 years, people will still look at her and be in awe? Like, do you think Fashion Nova is going to have her face on their shirts talking about icon? <laughs> 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 Nah. They, nah. She'd be remembered just and talked me? about, but child cheese. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to be me? You a mess. I'm not a mess. You know what? I actually said Kanye is a genius. And the way he has distributed his new album on the stem player, like mm-hmm. you can't get Donda 2 without buying that. And it's, I didn't even know what that was. To I know. I had to put you up on game. Yes. Get a friend like me, y'all. <laughs> And he's already made 2.2 million sales on it yeah. and all of that. Yeah. Now, a man could be so successful, but pussy still be his kryptonite. <laughs> like, he's still Don't focused fight on... fighting for their families. Is he fighting for his family or he's fighting because he doesn't know how to accept the loss? Some people just don't know how to accept, I'm not going to win this one. And it's done. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? I really had something for you to read, but I can't find it anymore. This sucks. The people are going to get to see if you know how to read a paragraph, too. <laughs> I no, ain't I found it. it. I'm too unstable right now. Unstable? Yeah. What you mean unstable? This wine. Oh, oh. Got me feeling <laughs> Shout sexy. Shout out to Serena. <laughs> uh, give us some ad money, and we will talk about you every episode. Yeah. Every time I'm on the line. you. Read this for the people. Man, this is a lot. It's not a lot. Southeast educated us. Tell them what we got. Ooh, child. Do I tell who wrote it? No, no. It's some nigga off Facebook. Okay. <laughs> Whew. After watching part one of the new Kanye documentary, a lot of Kanye died with his mom. Wow. She was his sanity, his confidence his counselor, his soul, his number one fan, who believed in him more than he did. Kanye has been trying to replace his mom. Christianity and the Kardashians and the validation from the Replace his mom with Christianity. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. He was trying to replace his mom (laughs) with Christianity, (laughs) the Kardashians, the validation from fashion industry. I can only imagine how meaningless everything without his mom is. We only get two parents and four grandparents. Nothing can replace them. When important people in our lives die, a a piece of us goes with them. We never get that back. And no matter how hard we try, that part of us is gone forever. Wow. The time he needed his mother the most, and here, he is just hurt and lost. When we lose good people, especially the ones closest to us, we lose forever. Thank you, Floyd Mayweather. (gasps) Almost cried. (laughs) Get my damn phone. Almost cried. (laughs) So you agree with that? I do, and I felt that message. Yeah? Yeah. But you know what? How long can we keep saying his mom, his mom, his mom, his mom? At some point, you have to be held accountable for your irrational behavior as well and stop throwing Donda in it. Because Donda didn't didn't teach him to be, you know, Mm -hmm. outrageous like that. Yeah. You know? That's not her legacy. So how long can you put a timeline on how long people can keep saying it's his mom he's missing? 
who did Kanye Lee know when he lost his mom? Where's his dad? Is his dad still living? Where's your auntie, your uncles, your cousins? I'm always amazed at where are people's families? Where are y'all at? I mean, honestly. Yeah. Some people just, they grieve different. Yeah? So maybe that's what he's, he's just feeling all this at once because he never dealt with his first emotion. And I'm not saying, like, you'll never get over your mother passing. I get that. Mm -hmm. But the woman actually has been gone probably about, what, four or five years now? Like, this is, people say his mom as if she just passed yesterday. You get what I'm saying? You are. It's been some time. We're praying for you, Kanye. Put me on down to three. <laughs> Ciao. So you watched Nelly's um, sex tape. What did you think about it? Ciao. It wasn't nothing to see. You know, they were trying to say he had a little dick. <laughs> I didn't think the dick was little. I think it was average. It was average. I don't know what people want these days. Ciao. Has porn corrupted their minds? Something. But you know what? I'm going a, I'm to a be real with you. Every nigga that has told me he had a big dick had a big dick. Like, he wasn't <laughs> lying. I was like, I wish y'all could come smaller. Wow. Like, <laughs> wow. But I think they were looking at Nelly's physique. Like, he's so muscular. Uh-huh. And, but the thing, Nelly's still not that tall to me, though. Like, they were expecting, like, the skinny, lanky dude that's hanging like that. It just wasn't an exciting video. The girl was terrible. Child. Absolutely terrible. Everything was dry. Like, you're Th- hurting him. Do you him, think man. he was fake moaning? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> it was so dry. It was so dry. You were hurting him. Like, why is it her mouth wet? So he was not moaning in happiness. He no, was moaning out he of was pain. Drunk. <laughs> What's your best moan? Child, don't do that. <sighs> Don't do that. <sighs> That's right. <laughs> How do we know it's real? You don't. Because I can moan on the spot. So <laughs> you would never know with me. <laughs> you wrong. No, I had this nigga one time. He got mad at me because, like, I never made any sounds. And so that's when I used to practice my moans when I was eating Chick fil A. That is like, horrible. Take a bite into the chicken sandwich. <laughs> mm. <It's- laughs> No, for real. That is horrible. Because I didn't want him to feel that. <laughs> and so the next time. So why did you even keep doing it if you wasn't satisfied? Why, why do you think I do kept that? doing it? Well, Bitch, she... I didn't work for a year. How do you think Ooh. money was coming in? Child. <laughs> <laughs> why do we ask questions we already know? <laughs> I just can't believe you. I just wanted to hear you moan. I think every man and woman has a fake moan. Because yeah. I was moaning all on that discipline track. The video with Ronnie in it. Oh, yes. That was a heavy moan song. So it was on spot, you yeah. know, in the studio. I don't know. The on other the day, spot. I just thought about that video to watch. It. Back. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was very up there. You, okay, yeah, it was. Ronnie did a good job. Ronnie did do a good job. Shout good. out to Ronnie, fitness greedy body waist yes. trainers. Get y'all's. Uh, she got t-shirts too now. Yes. So t-shirts, waist trainers, and thigh. Trainers, I believe. Yeah, yeah. She like it goes around your little yes. tummy. I love Ronnie. Thighs. I wish you were here so we could do some more photo shoots. Man. But she wanna go to Texas. <laughs> you know, Texas Good today, choice. their mayor or was it the governor? Governor. <laughs> <laughs> their <laughs> mayor. <laughs> Which one is Abbott? He's the governor, right? <laughs> Greg Abbott. We don't have any politicians in here. But anyway. They were talking about how they don't like trans. They don't like trans kids. Like, they said if you have a trans child, report them to DCFS. And Yeah. Because that's like children abuse or something. Because they're saying no child would... (laughs) Stop! No! Don't you do that! Don't you do that. I cannot! They were saying there's no way a child would want to grow up trans on their own, there has to be another factor in the home. So they are equating it to there must be some abuse happening. 
as if someone just can't be trans because they want to be trans. Wow. That is absolutely ridiculous. So a kid and that all y'all ran down to Texas like it was the best things and sliced bread. Oof. But y'all come back up here as soon as y'all need an abortion. Because remember, they just ruled out on that too a couple of months ago. Yes, there's actually some girl fighting a case. Yes. Believe she's what, 15, 16? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, my, my thing is people make Texas out to be like this haven. And it's... But I was throwing shade the whole time, wasn't I? Don't I always be right? Give it a year, <laughs> give it a two. Ooh. Baby, I know what I'm talking about because I have a connection with the Almighty. <laughs> you okay? Said it. You said I'm it. a prophet. They only make one of us so many hundreds of years. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. yeah. All y'all, y'all better make sure y'all kids not gay, I guess. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> or you'll be right back in the field. Ooh. <laughs> Keeping it real. All right. So, let's talk about your ex boyfriend. I ain't got one. <laughs> we did want to. <laughs> no, I did want to touch Which on one? that. I did want to touch on that because that is what connects us. As like my children are not my ch- my children. My your children. children are my cousins. Yeah, blood. Through your boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And you know, when you were like, uh, when you first found that out, you were trying to look at me as if I'm supposed to be some connection to them. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Don't make me drop them off. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not talking about the, the kids. I'm talking about like the family, like the Austin. Yeah, I'm going to say it. The Austin family. You are. So like, I didn't grow up with them though. That's my daddy's side. Oh. And so, you know, <sighs> When you get to scratching your ear and flipping your hair, no, I'm chill. Don't do you know that. I, mean? <laughs> I tell you, this wine got me feeling sexy. No, I just I feel like the whole family just doesn't really take accountability for their own people sometimes. What I mean by that is they have a lot to say about everybody else, but when it comes to their own, they get real hush mouth. They get real let's sweep it under the rug. You mm. get what I'm saying? Man. You see how they got Miss uh, All Star Cuts running around here like crazy, Child. and that's when I made it known to all of them. I said, "Y'all are not going to have my support. Don't ask me for nothing. Don't ask me to sing in the choir. Don't ask me to do nothing until y'all get a check on that lady, okay? Ooh. Put a leash around it or something." Jesus. <laughs> but I did want to talk about your boyfriend because I just I found this to be very trifling. Like, we mentioned last episode, you do go to California, like, maybe twice a year or so. Yeah. Okay, so the first time you went, it was with him. Yes. And some other people. But he was on the trip. Yes. And he acted like he was broke. Yeah. And didn't have no money or mm-hmm. whatever. But how much time had perspired until he actually went on another trip to California with somebody else? Because um, it was very quick. It was very quick. I want to say a month. Yeah. A month. So, all of a sudden, he went from broke, where you were footing the trip, Mm -hmm. to where he's with a new woman, Mm -hmm. this new girl now. Are they still together? I don't know. Oh, well, at the time, he's a new girl. We don't talk Uh, about uh, it. (laughs) We don't talk. (laughs) Kind of like a ghost around here. (laughs) Is is he? he? Child. I just want, what were your thoughts when you saw the picture? Because I saw the picture, and I was mortified when I saw that. When I seen the picture, I was still pregnant with twins. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. So. So he had left. Yeah. But you didn't know about her. Correct. Like, I just, when I put him out, it was because I had found out about her. Mm-hmm. And his okay. cheating. Okay. So it was just like, I'm pregnant, you know. I ain't got to deal with this. I've been dealing with it for 10, almost 11 years. I'm done. So I sat all them clothes on the porch neatly. That's when you know you're neatly. done. Neatly. Neatly. Why would you do that? Because that's when you know you're done. When you take your time, make sure you got everything. You ain't throwing it out, making a scene so the neighbors come out all in your business. Ooh, you're a way better person than me. I locked the door and went back I to work. I would have made that shit wrinkled <laughs> on purpose nah. and put it in the box. Nah, being 
being bad to others don't bring you good karma. So I just let God handle them. I don't know if I believe in karma. I am the karma. Child, I believe and in Sometimes it. it needs a little push. Child, you right. <laughs> sometimes it just takes too long. Too long. <laughs> Woo, let me get my lick back. <laughs> but I'm so glad you went to California with your new man. Yes. To make up for his fuckery and no. bring new memories. It wasn't even about him. That was my babe's birthday, and he deserved it. I ain't trying to relive no moment with somebody I'm not with. Ooh. I made new memories. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. We leave the past in the past. <laughs> Ooh, before we leave the past in the past, do you Child. have anything else you want to say to the Austin family? Mm, no. No? No, I don't have nothing to say. Larry and Wanda. Fran, oh, yeah. nobody. I love... Wanda. Ooh, just Wanda. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> I like Wanda too. I love Wanda. Wanda ain't done nothing to nobody. She's just trying to keep the peace. And Wanda is his stepmom. So yeah. she has nothing to do with a lot of stuff. She's just really neutral in the middle. And um, this is your, your last chance to speak on it. I don't speak on it. I've been stopped speaking on it. <laughs> <laughs> How much time do we have, Zach? Okay, nine minutes. Ooh. Well, you know, the first time I went to uh, California, I'm going to say Chicago, California, I went for 30 days, and I just wanted to know the land. I love it. I didn't want to, I wasn't there to work or audition or do none of that. I was just there to make friends. I did go on some dates. Um, I stayed in an Airbnb for $400. Now, it was a type of Airbnb. Wow. Where, like, the woman was there. So it was her house. Uh-huh. And so I was, like, renting out a room. Oh. But 400 is still a steal. In California, that's a steal. That is. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And I could come and go as I p- please. I had a key. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, no curfew, nothing like that, you know? Did and, you know this woman? Or you said no. it's an Airbnb? Yeah, so. Airbnb. I did not know. But I did speak to her on the phone before I had flew out. Okay, so, so she trusted you and everything? Was it a background check? No, none of that. Okay. And I wasn't the only one there. Like, for two weeks, there was this Australian girl. Or was she Poland? I think Poland. Mm. She was from Poland. She was there for two weeks. And then this other girl, she was Latino. She was there for maybe three weeks. And another guy, he was there for one week. So it wasn't just me either. Yeah. I mean, I did you get acquainted with those folks? Or I did. Okay, that's I, like neat. when I said I went to the open mic night. Yeah. I mean, yeah, <laughs> we went. Y'all went. You we went. Yes. Yeah. But on the trip, one of the things I did not like. Okay, I had a friend at the time. Her name was Tiana. She was a publicist. She used to live in California, but mm-hmm. she came back to. Well, she didn't come back. She moved here. Mm-hmm. Because her son is deaf. So he goes to like the um, the Jacksonville School of Deaf. Okay. You know they have that school just for that. Yeah. Deaf and blind kids. Yeah. So she moved here, you know, for her son. Because actually, that's one of the best schools when you have a child like that. So I have to commend her for putting her child first. I'll yeah. give her that. It's but, sad that she had to come all the way here, though. I know, but it's one of the best. Yeah. You know? When you want your child to succeed and mm-hmm. do the best they can be, it's like, you know. So she had set me up an interview with this producer guy who owned this studio. And I believe it's called Planet Studios. Yeah. Hmm. I know you don't know, but it's, to people in that line of work, mm-hmm. we all know what Planet <laughs> Studios is. Like, I, Beyonce's been outside of Planet Studios. Plenty of people have taken pictures inside and out because it's a famous studio. So the guy, he actually was the manager for Earth, Wind, and Fire. And he was the manager for um, ASAP Rocky. Wow. Yes. And he owned like one third of Planet Studios. But she had set up this interview with him without asking me. Because she's like, well, you're there. So she thought she was doing a good thing, but it turned out to be a horrible thing. Why? I went to the studio. First of all, when I went... They said they didn't have my name on the list. Right. Couldn't get past us. 
<laughs> the secretary. <laughs> so I called Tia. I'm like, they're saying they don't even know who I am. I'm about to leave. She's like, no, don't leave. So she made a phone call. And then they told me to stay. And so I'm waiting there for like an hour and a half, mm-hmm. right? And so eventually an assistant comes out. And actually this assistant I'm still like friends with to this day. Crazy thing. They were at the open mic night and everything. Wow. But anyway, after an hour and a half went by, um, his assistant comes out, gives me a little tour or whatever. He's like, he'll be down in just a second. Now, mind you, in this building, Patty LaBelle is recording in the building. What? And I <laughs> forgot to tell you, when I was leaving, not, when I was coming into the building, uh-huh. R. Kelly was leaving. Because R. Kelly wasn't in jail at this time. Wow. That's what I'm saying. This is a real studio with real clientele. Man. You know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> so, like, but I'm still, you know, keeping it cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Try not to act like a But man. I'm also mad because I feel like I'm forced to be here because I didn't want to do this. Because wow. when she told me, it's like I had to drop everything I was doing to go. Because she's going to be late? Because it was like, you're working off of their time. Oh, he's a very busy man, and he wants to see you at one o'clock. One o'clock. What time was? I'm it? on the other <laughs> side of town. Man, you get what I'm saying? So I'm Ubering, rushing. It's hot. It's July. <laughs> yes, yeah, July is hot, hot as hell, hell on the West Coast. <laughs> and so the man comes out. I shake his hand. He's like, "Ugh, don't ever shake my hand that hard, right?" So already attitude. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And he had on his sunshades the whole time. That's how I know he was cracked out. But it- <laughs> <laughs> don't ever shake my hand that hard. I've never heard anybody yes. say that. And then the most disrespectful thing is, okay, so he was supposed to listen to my music. Mm-hmm. I was told by Tiana, he's just supposed to tell me if I had what it takes, if I could sing, mm-hmm. or if my music was good or bad. He never listened to my music. Yeah. Um, And what was more disrespectful is there was this, like, 18-year-old white girl, and she was in the room. She's like, I want you to listen to my um, new artist. Talking to me. I don't want to hear your new artist. I'm not here for her. (laughs) Wow. You know what I'm saying? And so he starts talking to me like, um, how do you like California? Have you went hiking? Yeah, you should go here and there. And I'm just like, he was talking about everything but the music. Talking about have you in here? Have you? That's not what we're here for. Like, turn on my track. The assistant had my, at this time, it was, uh, I still had a CD. Yeah. Yeah. I, it was like right where people were getting rid of CDs and transitioning t- to MP3s. Uh-huh. What if I, you didn't have a CD or anything going well, on? Well, cut on YouTube. <laughs> Man. Yes, this is like when CDs were really becoming obsolete. But it's what I had on me, and it's also because I was not planning to be meeting anybody. But you know what? On my on my end, it was a lesson of always be prepared regardless. You get what I'm saying? So the guy <laughs> <laughs> basically he didn't want to tell me because he ended up telling Tiana mm-hmm. when I cursed her out that night he didn't think I had the look to make it now by look immediately people go well you're not ugly and we're not Mm -hmm. talking about that at that time what could you do with a gay artist there was no Lil Nas X Mm -hmm. you get what I'm saying Mm -hmm. there wasn't like now everybody all of a sudden everybody's bi or whatever uh, a lot of them are faking <laughs> for clout, but he basically. But I don't know why he didn't think he could tell me. I don't know, but they really did not know what to do, because he was like, he told Tiana he was like when he left, he told Tiana he said when he left I listened to the music the music is fine the voice is fine he was like but what can we do with him? And I just think about how wow. three years ago. So much has changed. You get what I'm saying? Maybe three and a half now. But could you believe, like, this story sounds like it could have happened 50 years ago. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But three years ago, people really said, we don't know what the fuck to do with a gay artist. Three years ago. Yeah, three and a half years ago. That was my first trip on California. (laughs) 
Well, actually, mm-hmm. second is my second trip. But um, the first time I had just went for like three or four days. Mm-hmm. But this is like my real trip. Yeah. So I need to go back to California to make up for that experience. And maybe to see what can you guys do with the gay artists? Because now everybody's a fucking gay yeah. artist. Whether they be faking it or real. <laughs> <laughs> and also, like, Tiana... Tiana really didn't want me to be a singer anyway. Mm-hmm. But she set that meeting up for me because she felt like, well, to show her as a friend she still supported me. Mm-hmm. Tiana always wanted me to be in this space. Like, me and you talking like this. Uh-huh. But even, like, now, I think of, fast forward, three years I know about, and I'm not over-exaggerating, I know about probably six or seven people on TV who are singers, Mm -hmm. and they do this. You get what I'm saying? So my thing is, they could have actually been ahead of the curve and used me to trendset. And Tiana could have used that to propel her career Mm -hmm. if she would have, like, took a risk. But she wanted to stay within the box. You can only do this. You can only, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But no, like on The Real, Adrian Ballone, she's from 3LW. She's a host on The Real. Selena Johnson, she's on uh, Queens with Cocktails on Fox Soul, hosting with Vivica Fox and, uh, sorry, Claudia Jordan. Selena Johnson is a singer from Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Also, Bridget Kelly. I don't know if you know who Bridget Kelly is, but she's the girl who sings um, Special Delivery, that song. This is a special delivery, delivery. She used to be signed to Jay-Z on Rock Nation. <laughs> Everybody but you know her, uh, knows her. But she has a, a very popular um, podcast as well mm. through Joe Budden. She used to be on his network. So singer, also podcaster, journalism, communications. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You what I want that. the what I want our audience to know is sometimes you have to have vision when nobody else sees it, but still, they may not get it at the time. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> now they're like, huh? I said now it's just like you would have just been ahead of the time. They would have been ahead of the time, and they also would have had leverage to anybody that came after me. Mm-hmm. This is the blueprint. This is how we do it. But they just threw their heads up and said, we don't know what to do with him. Cool. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, what did you learn today? Stand out. Stand out? Stand what did down. you learn today, Zach? <laughs> <laughs> what did you learn about black history? <laughs> <laughs> this is looking really bad for you right now. I've been I've been gassing you up the whole show. So like, we really love Zach. He keeps us now you don't know nothing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we straight. <laughs> he learned that he's in the presence of greatness, okay? And he doesn't even know it. But one day you will know it on VH1 behind the music when they want to interview you. Mm. I want you to pick three cards, and I'm going to ask you what, what those cards say. Oh, this is how we're going to leave the show, because we okay. can't leave the show with I don't, I don't know nothing about black history. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we won't do. Give me, don't do all that, like the spades. <laughs> so this is called Table Topics, Questions to Start Conversations, as if we really need help. But there's like really unique questions on each one. Okay. I don't know where I got this from. I don't know if it was Target, because a bitch don't be at Walmart like that. But <laughs> you really don't. But I'm going to ask Des these questions. She picked them herself. Okay. Ooh. I don't like these questions. <laughs> Pick another one. Okay. <laughs> Three more? No, just one. Okay. All right. So this one says, how do you define integrity? And do you have it? Yes, we're coming at your neck. (laughs) Integrity. I have it. How do you define it? (sighs) That's a hard question. I would be at a standstill, too. I am... When you ask me that, I'm looking from a manager standpoint, from... A friend standpoint, from a standpoint from me and you. I'm so if like, somebody so was much stealing money. somebody's lunch out of the refrigerator at work, yeah. you're going to tell 
or you gonna mind your business. You gonna tell that person who stole it, hey, chill out because I saw you. I'm not gonna snitch on you this time, but hey, hey, I can't own. keep on covering for you. What's gonna be your approach? Sometimes or are you just I gonna just... immediately go to HR on them? I'm not telling nothing. It wasn't my food. But then, then you don't have integrity. <laughs> <laughs> A bitch just lied on the Business and L podcast. Okay? For the one time. <laughs> she lying. Next question. Ain't, ain't no need to even focus on that. <laughs> what did you get into the most trouble for when you were young? What did I... You know, I had a relationship... I have a relationship with my mom, so I ain't really high... Nothing. I didn't have to. You know what? That was me. My mom always says I was the most honest child. Yeah. Like, I would take my whooping like a G. <laughs> <laughs> I can only remember one whooping from my mom. I think I got my stuff together I after didn't that. get too many whoopings because I was a quick learner. You know, I'm not slow. Yeah. So, it was like, I don't like how that feels, so I'm not exactly. going to do that anymore. You know, I don't know why everybody keeps talking mama, about that. Mama, you wrong for using Like, what were you, you doing? You wrong. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Never an extension card, right. maybe a hanger. <laughs> but you know, yeah. it made me the great man I am today. <laughs> mm. Which piece of land would you wish to have preserved forever? I know these are you pick some weird questions. I like them, but I don't because I don't. Care you, you don't. About oh, that. another one. Let's not do that one. Yeah, okay. I don't care about that. <laughs> I ain't thinking about that. Which language would you like to speak fluently? Ooh. Mm. Ooh. I know for me it would be French. I was just going to say French. Really? If I had to choose between anything, I think it would be French. Because yes. it's the that's love the language. language. Well, yeah. It's the language that I'm hearing a lot it's more. It's not the love language because there's actually a dead Latin language that they used to say was the love language. But mm-hmm. French is definitely sexy to me. Yeah. It's just so, ooh. It's, it gives me OnlyFans vibes. Yeah. <laughs> T- tinder swindle. I w- not, the, not the Tinder swindle. I would definitely do like a whole album in French. Yeah, it'd like be so Like Josephine sexy. Baker. Yeah. The bitches can't take. Ooh. The bitches definitely could not take. Oh my gosh, that'd be sexy. This has been such a great show, Des. Yeah. Thank you for joining us again. <laughs> I'm always here to I don't know fun. what I would do without you. I mean, I would figure it out, but you know, that sounded good to say. <laughs> right, what you would have done if I said I can't make it? <laughs> I would have did it myself. Man, that would have been so boring. It would not have been boring. Ooh. Zach is here. Are you calling Zach boring? No. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> I would have pulled Terrell out of that office, okay? Oh my God. I'm a Capricorn. My my you model is whoever's in the building, you need a job. We don't believe Work. in people just being here for no reason. Work. Okay? <laughs> I know you're a cancer. Y'all just some crybabies, but <laughs> I'm pretty happy right now. I, I so. know, but you're very emotional. I, that's I what they say. Be. The people say Gemini's cancers and maybe Pisces and Aries are the worst signs. Mm. Uh, that's what they say. You just want to come for somebody. I mean, I'm no, 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 no. What's the worst sign to you? What's Dre? <laughs> A Gemini. Oh my God! You see, <laughs> <laughs> that's end. where you fucked up. <laughs> Tell the people where to find you, man. You can find me on Facebook. Uh, speak up. Act like you um been the Toastmasters class. Can you hear me now? Okay. You can hear. <laughs> can you hear me <laughs> now? <laughs> okay. No. Uh, Acting like Tiny from Escape. You already know. <laughs> <it is. laughs> Where can the people find you? You guys can find me on Facebook at Desiree Malone. You can follow me on Snapchat at Desi Loves Three. That's Loves L U V S and the number three. Yeah. Um, can't find me on Twitter yet. <laughs> That's Aaron's spot. <laughs> and I don't need y'all to find me on there either. Ooh, he be cutting okay, up. Okay, <laughs> because it's be fisting on there. Oh my DPs. gosh. <laughs> you go to his Twitter, don't be around no kids. And you know what? Before we go, speaking of Twitter, I was just thinking about this today because you know Isaiah Washington, not Isaiah Washington, the TDE rapper. Is his name Isaiah Washington? What's his name? I know I you listen to rap. Know. I don't know. Uh, the guy who got caught sucking dick. I don't know. You didn't see the video? Nah. Oh, I didn't see you that one. Oh, see, you ain't <laughs> seen me that one. 
<laughs> you didn't send me that one. But, you know, it was you on, sent me other stuff well, that scarred me for life. <laughs> I'm just like, ain't no way. He wanted to be outed. Because if you are on the down low, why would you make a video and you're staring into the camera? Good lighting. <laughs> so you know. It's not even bad. <laughs> this room has bad lighting right now. You know what's going Good on. Good lighting. You're staring into the camera. <laughs> He had two videos. One, he was sucking a big black cock. And then the second video, he had two white twinks sucking his cock at the same time. I'm saying cock like black people, you really use cock. But anyway, (laughs) (laughs) he was a a rapper, well-known. And I cannot believe you don't know who I'm talking about. Mm -mm. How much time we got, Zach? One minute? Oh, we're over. (gasps) Why do you get... Oh, my God. His name is Isaiah (laughs) Rashad. Look, Zach want the T, too. (laughs) Yes. His name is Isaiah Rashad. And he's on TDE. That's the same label with Kendrick and SZA. And he used to date SZA. SZA is is his ex. He has two kids, two different baby mamas I'm hearing. Hmm. This man is on tape sucking dick and good. (laughs) And I know what good... (laughs) <laughs> you want some of that? <laughs> I want to see what he can do with the backside. Looking Lord. at that shit. So he is a notable rapper. I didn't know who he was. I ain't gonna lie. But we all know who Kendrick Lamar is. We all know. You get what I'm saying? So apparently, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> DL man, if you don't want to get caught, do not record yourself. Simple. And definitely don't look right in the camera. Yeah. Or at least put on a mask. <laughs> I feel like he wanted to be outed. You're not going to tell me he didn't want that. Would you agree? I'd agree. I mean, he knew it was happening. It's not like he didn't know. But some people say he had a gun to his head or he owed somebody money or something. Like, they were making up all these kind of excuses of <sighs> why it happened. Never found the person, huh? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this is not the note I want to send off. I'm on. sorry, but you started. You but I forgot started. to talk about it last episode. So I'm. I want to thank y'all for joining us this episode. This is episode six, I believe. Right? Yeah, the Benson to Nail Show yeah. podcast number six. Desiree Malone, Zach is in the building. I am yeah. Benson to Nail, aka Mr. Coochie. Don't buy no Lucy's. And I want you to join us for next week's episode as well when Petite Nina will be back. Yay. Fingers crossed. Love ya. Icons out.